um, the program kept, kept crashing. Uh, this is uh, importing an image that I got from a movie. I traced it as uh, good as possible with I, what I could with Procreate on my iPad Pro. This is what I got. It's not perfect, but it's close to perfect. But uh, to trace it, I made two colors separate and changed them to black so that this program, Inkscape, can trace it easier. So I'll import both. That was the white part, and this is the green part that I turned black. So I can uh, shift select this, sorry, control select this one. Also, it's us actually shift. Shift select both, control, click and drag, so it scales them up uh, equally. Click off, click on this one, and then let it trace automatically. I usually put on live preview and usually if I have a good quality image like I have I usually bring it up to 0.7 like that and then you press OK and then you close it you select it and move it and check if this one is the copy by checking the notes if you see the notes that means this is the copy you made to double check it to know you go on this one you check on notes and you don't see any notes so this is the one I imported and I can delete this one because I don't need it. I take this one and I do the same. Uh, pad, uh, trace bitmap, it's already on 7, it's already on live preview. So I put it on OK. And then I just move it to the side, check if it's the node version, yep. Go back, select this one, delete it. So I got these two now as vector files. Uh, so this one is the white one, so I kind of make it grayish. This one is the green part, so I kind of make it greenish. I shift select this one, and then I will align them, align them vertically, horizontally. So it puts them quite a good in the middle. With plus and minus, you can zoom in and zoom out. So I take plus, plus, everything that's in the middle of the screen comes up closer. So to show how, why I'm going to do it manually to copy it, or to make it perfect, because to show that it doesn't really align well. See the gray and the white doesn't really align well so I want it more perfect than that. So I decide to uh, make it kind of manually but quick by the things that I already know. This one I have here as a reference so I'm going to use with the circle tool and the rectangle tool. The circle tool to get the circles and the rectangles to make the bridges and to cut these parts out. Okay so I'm going to start. Uh, drag out a circle, press on control that it snaps to a perfect circle, doesn't matter what size it is. Let go, go to this one, um, and then shift click one of these, it doesn't matter which one, and then I'm going to center it again. Vertically centered, horizontally centered, and then deselect to click off. Select this one again by clicking on control and shift while you're scaling this circle stays centered with these circles. So to make it easier to see, I'll change it to something like red. So control shift keeps it centered. It doesn't move. So I'm, I'll start by making the, the outer one, the green one. Yeah, satisfied with this one. Duplicate is control D. Control D makes a duplicate of that one. Oh, by the way, my color here is on about 50% uh, transparency. That's why you can see through it and it's easier to see through. So control shift makes it smaller. So I'll do the circle in the middle. I'll press on three to maximize my selection, to maximum zoom in my selection. And then I, by minus, I go one step backward to, to be able to see it. Control shift again to kind of guess the size of the circle approximate. Yeah, I'm satisfied with that. Minus, 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 zoom out, control D, copy. Change it to, let's change it to bluish. Yeah, purplish, bluish, kind of. Let's see what we got here with a color picker. Let's go to something blue, blue-ish. Oh, it, oh, now I see it. It's becoming purple because it's on top of the red. Uh, it doesn't matter as long as we see it. All right, control shift. So I'm going to take the outer side of the circle and match it up with the outer side of this one. Control shift. 
outside of that one, kind of, as close as possible. Let go, make a copy of this one, Control D, con duplicate, and then I'm going to do the inner side of this circle, Control Shift, the inner side here, about. So I'm going to use this small one to cut out of the big one to create a ring. So I select the outer one first that I want to cut out of, shift select the small one that I'm going to use to cut, and then we're going to pad and then difference. We're going to use that a lot. So to check it out, you it's already selected, you move it, see that you created a ring by using the big circle and the small circle to cut it out. Undo, put it back, make a copy of this one, control D, um, Control shift to scale it up. We use the outside of this to match up to the outside of this. Control shift. Try to match it as good as possible. Yeah, like that. Make a copy of this one. Control D, duplicate. And then take the outer side and match it with the inner here. Control shift. Kind of. Select this one. Shift select this one to cut it out by difference. So we again have this ring. Make a copy of that, duplicate it, Control D, zoom out by minus, and then again Control Shift, scale it up the outside of this one to the outside of this. Control Shift, about, let it go, duplicate, Control D, the outside of this, let it match on the outside of this, on the inside of this, control shift. About, select this one, shift select this one, and then difference again. We created a ring again, put it back by going back, undo. And then uh, what we can do now, we can cut out these uh, vertical parts. That's where we're going to use a rectangle. Go to the rectangle tool, create a rectangle, doesn't matter which size. Try to make it greenish so that we can see it maybe better, hopefully. Go to the select tool, go to pad, object to pad. Make a copy of it because we're going to use a copy every every time we use a copy. So we keep keep one here to keep going back to that one. So we're going to use this outer first first ring to cut this part out. This one as a reference here. This one first ring. We're going to cut this part out. So we're going to. That's why it's transparent. I can see it good. So size it up until it meets there. Go to 3 to bring it up, minus, minus, and then um, match it up as good as possible. This side doesn't matter because it's going to uh, influence only this ring. So we cut it here, we size it up a little bit until we're happy with it, like that. So we select this ring, shift select the rectangle, or square in this case, and then we do difference again, the same difference trick again. Difference, and then we zoom out, and it's still selected, so we can show what we did. We just cut out that part. Undo by putting it back, and then what else are we going to do? Look at our reference again. There's one more that we have to cut out. Uh, that's this part. So that means this circle, we're going to cut this part out. So we make a copy again of this one, duplicate, and um, move this one closer so we can still see it. Um, so we have to be here, right? Okay. So we take the copy, we bring it, uh, let's see, starting here to there, like that. So it can go a little, we'll turn off snapping for now so it doesn't snap to where I don't want to. So I go to 3 to bring it up close minus to zoom out one. So I'll take this line, match it up as good as possible, like that. And then this one also, match it up. And then we go select this one. And after that, we shift select this one. And then we do difference again. Difference. There we go. So we cut this one and we cut it there. So we zoom out again. 
so we already have this one cut out and that one cut out what we can do now we can make a bridge let's see we can make a uh, the bridge from this these two bridges rectangle make a copy again duplicate we can put the first bridge here just leave it there make a duplicate again and put the second bridge here to make it quicker okay so I'm going to press 3 to come in close minus to zoom out minus to zoom out uh, snapping is off I don't mind let me turn it back on uh, see if it will snap to no it doesn't snap to the intersection so I put this intersection on so the point snap to let's see if I can get it to snap there yeah I get it to snap there so then I just pull this one uh, to this side so that these two points just have to be inside of this uh, this one has to stay have to be on the same line so that's why I let it snap and then I move it uh, larger and because I cannot get this line inside oh, but I wasn't finished yet I had to make this height adjust this height yeah because when I adjust this height this point also f falls within this so it's good like this so I select this shift select this and then I would say combine but it's actually union I made this mistake before union so now it's unified this one and that one and then I shift click this one outside and then I do the same thing union so it made from this one a bridge and it unified it with this one so I'll go back to this one and do the same thing here um, click on it um, try to match it up with actually it doesn't matter too much but uh, I already cut this one so I have a snapping point here that's it this point is important because this corner is important this one falls out so I have to move this point to fall inside so I don't worry about that yet I just try to get this size about right and then I move it that it falls within the circle it doesn't matter where as long as those points because I'm going to union make a union of those um, bring this back up again I'm going to match it up with let's see um, yeah I'll just take right in the middle of those but this point I have to get inside still so I get this one control click and move it horizontally because I use control it just stays on this line and then it's good I go back to the select tool select the circle shift select this and then union so it makes one of the out of this It's already selected so I shift select this so it unifies it with that part um, union so it makes a whole thing so I go back out and that's what I did like this so I undo putting it back so actually I'm finished with the rings and the bridges only thing I have to do is this part so what I found out to do the best is to grab this one to lengthen it like that before I forget I save yep before it crashes again and I lose everything so I put it there I can make it maybe a little bit smaller doesn't matter but now I have to center it with this shift click this one doesn't matter really uh, center it but I have to check this one has to move when I center if this one moves then I have to do it the other way around uh, center it vertically yes this one moves so it's good center it horizontally yep so I just click off and then I and then I have to rotate it now to get it in position where I need it so I click on it and then I rotate it because it's already centered so we'll, we'll stay there so I'll just do one I'll just make one to keep it there and then click on it again and then control and shift to size it like that click on it again to turn it again to position it correctly like where I want it I can zoom in a little bit plus it has to be in the middle of course what I want to zoom into so I bring it to the middle as much as possible so am I satisfied with this yeah I'm satisfied so I make another rectangle 
like this, change it to yellow, for example, and then go to this and change it uh, to object, object to path. So I have the nodes to choose. Uh, I'll make a duplicate of it, Control D. I'll bring the duplicate over here. Uh, it was, I was working with this one. I'll turn off snapping for now, go to tree to get it up close, minus to zoom out, minus to zoom out, click on it again, turn it approximately where I want it with a green one, turn it again about there. It doesn't have to be perfect because uh, I just want to cut this part out. So I just go back to snapping, I go to the notes and I take the note to see if it's going to snap to that. It's not really snapping, doesn't matter, but I'm going to get it as perfect as possible to line up with the green here. That one, kind of, kind of, yeah, it's good like this. So I'll select this one, shift select this, and then I'll go to path and then do difference. And it cuts that part out. So the green one is left, so I zoom out again. I'll save it before it crashes again, so I don't lose that part. So I make a copy of this one because I'm going to need a copy again. Control D, duplicate. Uh, then I'm going to turn this one, click again. I'm going to line it up with this one now. Uh, in the middle about, click it again so I can scale it. Control Shift to scale it in place. About that size. Take my copy here, bring it over. Press on 3. To go close, minus to zoom out one more time, um, turn off snapping, put it there, click it again to rotate, line it up as much as possible to the green one, move it, I can move it and zoom in like this, and then go to notes, turn on snapping again, try to match it up with the green one as much as possible. Try to match it up with a green one. Try to match it up with a green one. Like here, like here. And then I'm satisfied. Go back to this one. I was going to cut this one. So shift, click it, cut it with this. And then we go to path and then difference. It didn't work. I don't know what happened. So I'm going to zoom out and I'm going to say back, back, so it brings back the notes, okay. So what actually happened, I do not know. So zoom out further is the purple one. So the purple one, move it out to see what happened. It's not cut, okay, so I put it back. So I need a purple one and cut it with the yellow one, okay. So I go back in to the yellow, press 3 to bring it up, minus to go back, press on it again to rotate, rotate it to be approximately with the green one, turn off snapping, go to nodes, align the node with the green one as much as possible, align it up with the green one as much as possible, align it with the green one as much as possible, let it go, I'm satisfied, go back to the select mode, select the purple one, shift, select the yellow one, and then path, difference. Yeah, the yellow one disappeared, that means it has to have cut it. Zoom out to be certain, select and move it out. Yeah, it cut this part. So undo, put it back, save it, select this one again, rotate it to the next one. I'll take this one here, here, and click it again. Control Shift to scale it, to get the thickness I want, like that about. Make a duplicate of this one, Control D, drag it to where I need it, here. Press on 3 to get it close, minus to back off, 
click it again to rotate line it up as good as possible put, turn on snapping line it up as good as possible with the green one turn off snapping again go to the notes line up the notes to the green one as good as possible like that satisfied going up yeah go back to selection mode select this one shift select the yellow one and then pat difference the yellow one disappeared so it cut the pat check it by moving it out there it is it cut it out put it back by going back select this one again press save so I don't lose it again press it again to, to turn it so we're going to the outer one here um, going up closer to see uh, plus plus let's see by turning it is it the right size about so I just zoom out minus 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 make a duplicate of this one control D bring it to where I need it take one more I think that's the last one I'll need so I'll take the last one and I'll put it here where I need it so I'll press it again start turning it rotating press this one again rotate and then snap on press on 3 to go close minus to go back and then try to line it up let it snap somewhere it doesn't really want to snap rotate a little bit more it crashed I'll put it on pause and I'll be right back yeah continue again where it crashed go to 3 go up close press it again rotate to see if it will snap it doesn't snap oh snapping is off no problem try to let it snap no it doesn't want to snap no problem uh, go turn off snapping go to note mode try to match it up with a green as much as possible note match it up with a green this one I'm satisfied this one I'm satisfied check it again go to select mode select the purple one shift select the yellow one and then path difference the yellow one disappears that means it cuts it out minus 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 to go out select it pull it out to see if it's really cut yeah it cut put it back and save um, okay click the green one again again rotate it put it where I want it about uh, zoom in by plus 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 move it plus plus oh I'm too close minus minus sorry to align it with where I want take the yellow one move it out of the way take the green one again press again rotate it to put it where I want it about and then press it again control shift size it in place like 50 50 kind of yeah press the yellow one put it there in place kind of press it again to rotate let it go save it for now and then put on snap see if it will snap no it doesn't snap where I want it press on 3 to get it up close minus to go one back uh, leave it like that put it on turn off snap put it back on note try to match up the note to the green try to match up the note to the green this note to the green this note to the green alright go back to selection mode select this one uh, shift select the yellow one and then path difference again the yellow one should disappear zoom out take out the purple to see if it cut there yes it did put it back go back to save we saved it take the green one pull it out put it on the side uh, compare it to our reference we got this we got this let's see just a minute yeah we got this one we got this one we got this one we got here we got the bridge we got a bridge and we got the opening here and this one so we got all of them so we have to get rid of the original ones 
I don't remember which they were, so I just zoom out. I just select this one, delete it. I'll save it to be sure again. I'll move this one to the side. I think this one was a perfect one. The red one was a perfect one. The green one was the cra uh, crappy one, so I delete that one. The gray one was the crappy one, so I delete that one. So I have to center all these back up. Uh, that's uh, select this, shift select this, and then uh, go to align, center vertically, center horizontally, and then I'll leave it at that, this one first, and then shift select this one, uh, vert uh, vertically, and then horizontally, then I got it in place. So um, select all by doing this, moving it to this, and then we select the red one, uh, sorry, the red one, please, and then we turn it greenish by taking the eyedropper tool, hovering over the green here, then it turns green, and then we select the red, and then we might turn it just grayish here, grayish, this one, grayish, hope I got the same gray, kind of, like that, but it's still on transparent, so I'll save it, and now it has to be perfect. If I click on it, I put it on node, and I zoom in like with a tree. There are clear and crisp circles and lines and everything. Everything is perfect now in comparison to before. So that's it. Save it again, and that's a tutorial. Thank you.